Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Gemini Full Moon. So this may or may not resonate right now. It should probably resonate in a few days or right away, or maybe it's not for you, whatever it is it is. Let's see what we got. What do we have for a message today? Oh. So this is seeing things from a new perspective, but this is a loss of strength or a loss of discipline, needing to find discipline. Somebody is, uh, this is a loss of self being stuck. This is getting unstuck though. So somebody has been through a period of being stuck, unable to master their emotions, unable to take the lead because they were hanging on to something. But this is like letting go the hangman reversed, seeing a situation differently. Well, 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 well. Could be dealing with a cancer, could be dealing with a Pisces. But something is not as it seems. There's also some hidden forces here. Now, there's, the moon is ruled by the shadow, so something definitely isn't as it seems. Somebody was probably portraying themselves to be somebody they were not. They could have been blocking the truth or blocking themselves from seeing something. There was a shadow. There was something that was unseen. Oh my God. Now these are both ruled by the shadow. These are the two cards that are ruled by the shadow, ruled by the unseen. Both of these cards put out an energy of uh, hiding something. Okay, it's not what it seems. It really, really, really is not what it seems when you get these two cards. Something is not what it seems. Now, this is unable to master emotions with the chariot reversed. There's a lack of success. Somebody is really fearful, perhaps, but they're portraying themselves not to be. Somebody is not heading in the right direction, but they're, they may be putting on a really good show. So this is definitely a show. There's addictions here. Bad habits. Serious addictions. Somebody is bound to something that is very, very unhealthy. And they're unable to, to take themselves out of it. Or they're unwilling. No willpower, no discipline to take care of this unhealthy situation. So somebody just doesn't have the mental strength to overcome this powerful addiction or lie or secret or deception or whatever it is. It's too tempting. It's too good. But it's not really good. It looks good, but it's not. It really isn't good. Put it that way. There's some major, because these are all majors, all of them, deception here. Seriously. And it is very unhealthy. Somebody could be sabotaging their own success because of their addictions, because of their bad habits, because of their fantasy or their illusion. These are both cards of an illusion. We have Capricorn here as well. So we have Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. We have Pisces here as well. But it doesn't have to be. It can be anybody. But this is refusing or just choosing not to see seriously. It's like hiding themselves in the addiction. Or hiding the addiction. There's something that is hidden here. But there are also hidden forces. Okay? There's something that you don't see. Oh, interesting. Things are going to change. 
This is a change of course, another major. So we have a major change that is coming. A chapter, a cycle is ending in. There, this is a, a destined change of course. Somebody may not see it coming, though, because something has been so well hidden by the darkness, the shadow. Now, these, this is manipulation. Somebody may have been manipulating. Interesting. Oh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Now, this is a change in the home, a change in the family dynamics. It's the end, a ten. There is going to be a change on the home front or a change in the family relationship. Could be the end of a legacy. This could also be turning away from a family feud. There could be a family feud, and this could be coming to a dead stop. Because this is a stop. Hmm. We have a new doorway that is opening. Now this is a card of finding the moral backbone to do the right thing. This is somebody who acts with integrity and decides it's time to start over. Okay, I'm going to start over. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to rebuild myself up. I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to start over. This could also be a messenger. This could be an apology. There's definitely, or a gift, or, or something that gives somebody the opportunity to start over, to start fresh. So there is an opportunity, and somebody's going to be getting an opportunity handed to them. They are. You, whether you want it or not, whether you choose to take the steps, not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy to start over. It's not going to be easy to start from the beginning, but. This is finding the focus and the moral backbone to do so. But this is the end of a family dynamic. It really is. There's something that is hidden here and it has to do with addictions, lies, deception, deceit, temptation, unhealthy. This is a gift. This is a gift. King of Wands reverse. Now this is this is angry. This could be a father or a husband or a boss. This is somebody who is gets angry and upset and is self-centered and egotistical and unreasonable. Somebody may be hiding something from this person. Because this something is definitely hidden with these two cards. This has something to do with the family, maybe a father and a child or something like that. It definitely is in a family dynamic. There's no more movement. Okay, this is no more movement. No moving forward. Conflict, competition. Somebody is causing a competition. It's like they thrive on competition. And because they want to compete so much, it's bringing conflict. It's like they just can't stop engaging. They need to stop engaging. <laughs> this, is, this is some sort of fight or conflict. There's multiple people involved. It's like it's a constant battle. There's bickering. There's pettiness within the family. And this person may be, may be naive. Probably is naive. But we have an ending here. Ten, ten. We definitely have. This is the end. It's the end. It is. Somebody has been betrayed. And it's about to end. This betrayal, this bickering, this fight, this competition is about to end. This something is coming to a complete halt. It's like this new doorway opens. This is the new door that opens. It's the new path. So, this is the end of a painful situation where somebody 
it's just like they give up. I give up. It's like they don't even want to try anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this competition. I'm done with this fighting. I'm done with these lies. I'm done with this manipulation. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So I feel like we have somebody here that is done. It's been too much. It has been. This person's probably going to get really angry. Maybe they were taken advantage of. With by somebody's lies, the nonstop, like a pathological liar. That's what we have here. Interesting. But it is definitely over with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. And this ha is, does have to, have to do with a family situation. Like I said, it could be the end of a family legacy. All of a sudden, it's over. It, things change. There's no more moving forward. This is like a death. It is. Somebody's going to be severing ties. It was a lose-lose situation. Somebody wanted to win at all costs and they didn't care who they hurt. They didn't. It was all about proving themselves. It doesn't matter who they hurt as long as they win. Justice. Justice. And there's going to be some sort of reunion. There is. A celebration is coming. This is karma. This is justice. This is a final decision. This is a choice. The truth coming out in regards to a situation where somebody was betrayed by somebody that had a really big ego. This is a card of ego and betrayal and conflict and power struggles. Somebody was struggling with another person who really thrived on competition and just really didn't care who they hurt no matter what as, as long as they were on top and that is sick but this is defeat this is defeat these people you know this guy may think that he defeated these people but he's the loser because nobody likes him nobody really they don't trust him they don't like him he's a piece of crap and everybody knows it. So, yeah, these people feel betrayed. And these people may see, feel like they lost, but they didn't lose. This person is the loser. Because deep down inside, this person is hurting. This person is trying to project their pain onto these other people. This person thinks they have won or they think they're going to win. They think they're the best. They think they're, you know, ha, 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 well, ha, 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 ha. Joke's on you. Karma doesn't lose an address. Justice will be served for this situation. This, this, this situation where this person didn't care who they hurt. Justice is going to be served. It is. This is... Major, we have a lot of majors here. We have a major decision that is going to be made. Something is coming to an end. A, a, a situation where it feels like a few people have been belittled. They have been betrayed. They've been hurt pretty badly. It's been a constant battle, but it's over. This battle is about to end. There could be some upcoming legal issues or there could be um, some papers or a new contract. Could be papers that are filed. I don't know, because this could be court. Somebody could be taken to court. But this is karmic justice. This is bringing balance back to a situation. This is also somebody making a heavy decision. And it's like doing the right thing because this is doing the right thing. So somebody is going to do the right thing. 
And because they do the right thing, I mean, this can, karma can go both ways. So doing the right thing will bring you a gift. Doing the wrong thing will, <laughs> will bring you a loss. This is finality. This is a final. This is. This is final. It's a final completion. It's finally over. It's done. This competition is over. This is a celebration. An upcoming celebration. So yeah, we do have... And it could be unexpected. Somebody could be... Um, This is unexpected. I think it's a it's an unexpected celebration. It doesn't have to be. This is this is becoming enlightened, seeing the light, letting go, releasing, making a choice to do so, because this is a choice, a decision. Seeing the truth. This is seeing the truth. Somebody is gonna see the truth about a betrayal. They are. This is like a reunion of some sort to me. There's going to be a gathering or a coming together that causes uh, happiness. This is a happy coming together. So there's going to be some sort of decision that is made. And there's going to be two people that are are coming together that are that are I think that are meant to come together but I think that there's been somebody in the way that has been trying to block it that's blocking they've been trying to block it they've been trying to stop it from happening and it's been and it's been it's been out of uh, spite it has it's really been out of spite they were they were lying, they were hiding the truth, they were trying to cover up. There was a big cover up here. You think of the shadow, what does the shadow do? It covers up. So somebody was trying to cover up, but I think that the cover up is over. You can't cover this up anymore. This is this is enlightenment. Somebody has been enlightened or they're seeing a situation differently. They're seeing it for what it is. So that's what it is. They're seeing it for what it is. And now there's going to be some sort of happy get together or a celebration or a reunion or something like that. Somebody's going to be receiving a message because this is a messenger. Could have to do with a child. Okay, it definitely could have to do with a child. And I don't know if it's a child and it has to do with a home. It could be leaving home or coming home. Something to do with a child. And uh, there's family dynamics here. This page of cups reversed. This is, this is uh, somebody that is not getting the love that they need. They're not able to grow efficiently. They are not emotionally fulfilled, they're not happy, they may not be being taken care of, there's definitely a lack of love here, or a lack of emotional growth, or a lack of growth, period. And again, with the Page of Cups reverse, the Page of Cups reverse signifies somebody that is trying to overcompensate and pretend pretend so whether it's a child or somebody, it's like they pretend that they're healthy but they're not somebody is definitely not healthy definitely so mm -hmm. oh there's going to be a permanent loss this is the tower reverse the tower reverse a permanent loss and you guys the other people can try to say that it's avoiding oh no I've investigated this this is a permanent loss. And it's a painful change that you never saw coming. So we have a painful change that somebody never saw coming. And there's ties that are going to be severed. These are the ties that sever a bond. Or the sword that severs a bond. I'm telling you what, there are ties that are going to be severed. <laughs> this conflict, this competition is about to end.
probably within the next, what, I'm going to say four days. Could be the 16th. It's funny because this is for the 12th and this is the 16th and this is, I said, the 4th, I think, you know, today, so that'd be around the 16th. I don't know if something may happen on the 16th or um, end on the 16th or it may become final on the 16th. I don't know. Something to do with the 16th or the number 16. This is seeing a situation as it is finally waking up or finally acknowledging the truth. This is getting unstuck from a situation. It's freedom. It is freedom. There's a bigger, better opportunity that is being presented. There's a reason why all of this is happening. So it's a, it's like this is this is there is there's a reason there's a bigger better opportunity waiting for somebody to go down that path. Somebody has manifested a new doorway. And the only way to get go through that doorway is to let go of whatever you've been hanging on to and to take those steps. So you have to, you have to walk down that path because it's waiting. So I think that we do have somebody here that there's a decision or that is being made, whether it's being made by somebody at court or the law or yourself, this is a decision being made. And this decision is going to bring happiness because some sort of betrayal some sort of competition, some sort of struggle is ending. And it, I think it's going to end abruptly, definitely. There's going to be a permanent loss. But this permanent loss <laughs> leads somebody down a new path <laughs> that is so much better. It's like they're just waiting for you. This is a necessary evil. It's a necessary clean out. It's a nece necessary release. Purge. That needs to happen. And somebody's been fighting the universe. This is a big universe card. Majors are universe. They've been fighting this universal change. But they've been watching from up above. Be prepared for a permanent loss. That leads you down a new path to something a lot better. It's basically what you asked for. Maybe even subconsciously. Consider it a blessing. Consider this, this loss a blessing. So be prepared. Be prepared for some shock and awe. Good luck.